Russian military propagandists complain that the collection of money to help the Russian army has been discredited, as a result of which Russians are transferring less and less money to Z-War correspondents. One of the Russian military bloggers announced in his Telegram channel that he intends to stop the program of collecting money and helping the Russian military, since recently he has not been able to close the collection and is forced to pay extra money of his own for this. I get very tired from working as a humanitarian and I am left without money because I often close them at my own expense, the propagandist admits. The situation has sharply worsened after a number of Z channels were caught stealing. The latest major scandal involved volunteers Katya and Valya from Donetsk who were accused of fraud and embezzlement of collected funds by the deceased Russian UAV operators Ernest and Goodwin. The remaining Z-War correspondents have purchased expensive cars and even real estate in recent months using the money collected from Russians for their own needs. After the information appeared in the Russian press, Russians began to refuse monetary donations. Russian public is actually more concerned with how soon the war will end. This may already be forcing Vladimir Putin to adjust his public position on the invasion. It reveals that during almost two years of full-scale war, Putin has been unable to induce Russians to volunteer for combat in sufficient numbers. There are no lines at army recruitment points in the central squares of Russian cities. Instead, according to the conflict intelligence team and other independent analysis, official numbers of volunteer recruits are wildly exaggerated. Russians may be prepared to support the war verbally, but they are clearly not rushing to fight themselves. Putin understands the mood in Russia better than many Western commentators and he appears to sense a declining public appetite for the invasion he unleashed almost three years ago. If this trend continues, it could further constrain Putin and his actions. Naturally, some Russians are unhappy with the situation. Millions of people are opposed to authoritarianism and bloodshed and some of them openly express their views and resist. A private Robinson R-44 helicopter has crashed in Russia's Arkhangelsk Oblast, resulting in the deaths of two men, one of whom is believed to be Sergei Smetanin, a member of Arkhangelsk City Council from the United Russia Political Party. Latvia-based Russian media outlet Meduza and Russia Telegram channels reported this. Reports emerged on September 26 that a helicopter traveling from the village of Bich to the village of Karandashevskia had gone missing and contact with it had been lost. On the morning of September 27, Kremlin-aligned Russian news outlet TASS reported that the wreckage of the helicopter had been found, and the bodies of two people had been discovered at the crash site. A criminal case has been opened regarding the incident, with reports stating that the flight had not been authorized. Telegram channels close to law enforcement wrote on September 26 that Sergei Smetanin, a member of Arkhangelsk City Duma from the United Russia Political Party, and local businessman Alexei Semenov, the owner of the helicopter, were on board. Smetanin and Semenov, as reported, were flying to go on a fishing trip, Meduza summarized. After sanctions were imposed on Russia due to its bloody war against Ukraine, there has been an increase in aircraft accidents in Russia. This surge is attributed to a shortage of essential parts that Russia previously used to import from Western countries. Сука, не тупи нахуй, давай быстрее, блядь. Где? Держите на прицеле. Где? 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 Я на точку кинуть. Так, подожди, блядь. Под, а... Кидай нахуй, все, сука. Сейчас я вернусь. Сука. 
пацаны. А, алло. Тут сейчас идет гость. Тихо, блядь, не без резких движений. Дистанцию нахуй от меня. Вы заебашу сейчас. Не понял, сука, дистанцию. Говорю, туда, блядь, стал быстро, блядь. Еще раз говорю, сейчас ноги прихуярю, нахуй. Я, блядь, не шучу. Значит, блядь, в рот. Что делаем? На обдет? Еще раз. Блядь, пацаны, есть хуйня какая-то? Быстрее, блядь, кто тут на ре? Выходите, блядь. Сяшки дайте, блядь. Держи его на прицеле, нахуй. Что тут за хуйня у тебя в руках? Документы, молодец, блядь. Дай документы сюда, нахуй. Сюда их, нахуй. Кидай, блядь. Все, блядь, нахуй. Давай, стяжки ему, нахуй. Не знаю, блядь. Зайди обратно, значит, блядь, братан, быстрее, нахуй. Зайди обратно. Нахуй. 